Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Layla and here on this channel I do planners, bags, purses, planner bags, everything planner related, everything bag related. So if you are addicted to planners and bags the way I am, then consider subscribing. Also follow me on IG at just one SB. And if you are a returning subby, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back for another video and let's get into it. So I know y'all been thinking if this heifer don't upload a freaking video about her PM flip through, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm sorry life happened <laughs> life happened and setting everything up the camera and all that good stuff to go ahead and record has just been just not possible so trying to get as many videos as I can record it lately so I can go ahead and get them uploaded over time but this one is going to be the PM flip through that you guys have been waiting on um, so I have switched from my multicolor um, PM agenda to my actual monogram agenda it's fall time and monogram is my absolute favorite so I did want to go ahead and move into my um, monogram PM agenda super super cute tiny compact I love 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 this thing is so little so if you're new here this is what my uh, monogram multicolor PM agenda looks like it's super super cute with the pink interior I absolutely love it um, I did upgrade both my planners to the 16 millimeter rings so if you're not familiar with that definitely check out the video where I show how to switch those out so if you're considering PM but think the rings are too little trust me getting the 16s is definitely the way to go and so here in the monogram agenda I changed the bow on top from the fuchsia bow to the baby pink and this is the papery peonies I'll link her uh, shop down below but I've had this paper clip for some time and I just have it in here as deco um, just because I think that kind of pop a bow from the top um, just looks really cute. The only other thing at the top is like a little tab here which is a piece of acetate that I laminated to create a page marker. Um, so this is the PM agenda and on the inside this is what she looks like. And so over here, I just have, it doesn't lay the flattest, but <laughs> my rings are full and I do have the 16 millimeter rings in here. And let me see if I can zoom you guys in just a tad so you can see pretty good because I know this is a pocket. Okay. And so this is a pocket size agenda. If you're not familiar with the PM agenda, it's the Louis Vuitton PM agenda. Um, it also is called the small ring agenda. So if you look on the website, I think these days it says small ring agenda and not um, PM. And unfortunately it is like always sold out like even if you type the notify me it'll take months before one comes in i'm not sure what the issue is but i wish they get their sh together and go ahead and start popping out stuff that us planner babes love excuse me y'all and so over here on the left side i don't have anything in the pocket here um, but i do have this journal card which is the month of september so i can just quickly glance at it if i need to this came in one of the cloth and paper subscription boxes so i have that in there in the top pocket and then the second one, I made my own task cards. And here I use the, um, what is it called? The jelly paper that I ordered off Amazon. And I'll link that down below. I use the jelly paper and I just cut it to size. And um, then I laminated it just so that it'd be a little bit more sturdy. And I just put some kind of tabs on here that makes sense to me. This PM agenda stays in my purse. This is my everyday carry, my on the go, my if I'm out the house, I need to know when I have a party, an event, which we ain't been doing with Rona. Um, doctor's appointments, dental appointments, um, you know, days off from school for the kids, just all that kind of stuff. I need to know that and have it on me at all times. So that's why I have this PM agenda in addition to my GM agenda. So this one I do plan the week out but I only put on there like what's going to happen that week um, outside the house. This is like the outside the house planning thing. Like I don't have to look at this when I'm in the house if that makes sense. So these task cards are just something cute that I made for decorations on the left as well as if I do want to pre-plan in here or just kind of toss some things down um, instead of having to write it over and over or create a sticky the task cards can be used for that so this one says to go so we got appointment errands shopping meetup and then planner meetup let me see if I can get that sticker closer super super cute pretty sure this sticker is from cookie sticker co and I'll try to link her shop down below but it does say planner meetup at the bottom and then at the very bottom we have the word family excuse me <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Tickling my throat. Sorry about that. And so that's what this one says. This one says to go. And so this is like out of the house um, kind of things if I just kind of want to, you know, mark them down real quick without having to write them or do a sticky note. This one says to do. And so on here we have plan, chores, pay, buy, and call. Usually you need to call, you know, a business company to ask them questions or to, you know, to check on something, anything like that. Sometimes you might be at the red light or out of the house and you need to call somebody. So instead of having to grab pen and paper, you can just pull this page flag out, stick it down on your inbox or on your uh, weekly page. And it's super, super, super easy. So I really love those. The front dashboard is super cute. My dashboards are from Clever Planner if you're new. 
If you're not new, these are the ones that I showcased in the Happy Mail video, and I'll try to link that video down below if you're new so you can take a peek at it. But this one does have Layla on the coffee cup. She's super, super cute with her long hair. Looks like me. I love that one. On the back here, I just have a cute picture of my family, and I have it down with some pink Simply Gilded Bow washi tape. This was a printable that my birthday bestie, hey Alex, um, she found in some of the printable shops, and so... I went ahead and printed this and this is my inbox so anytime that I want to put one of those page flags down or if I have a sticky that I did write on say in a store or what have you I can put this here and then when I get back home I'll know to you know pull out my PM agenda check the inbox and see if I wrote anything down so that's how I use my inbox in this agenda on the back I have this cute quote that I pulled from a journaling card I want to say came in the cloth and paper subscription box but I'm not positive it says the distance between dreams and reality is called actions and then the quote is unknown so I put that down with some simply gilded washi tape and just hole punched it I really like that on here I have one of those I can't remember what it's called but it's like a those clear pages that you can use to use like a TN planner that you put like dashboards and stuff in so I just cut mine to size and I cut down this uh, memo sticky note so that it would fit a little bit better because of course it is wider than an actual pocket so I cut it down a little bit added a little page flag here just in case I want to write something down and just put that on the front so these I can write on and then of course if I do write on them and need to you know do something I stick it to the inbox here or like I said to the spot on the page but most times it's the inbox because that's what I check you know when I come in the house or when I'm going out the house double check and make sure I'm not forgetting anything in the back I just tossed in some appointment cards um I think I purchased these I don't think these were actually in a cloth and paper subscription box I think I actually purchased these appointment cards off her site but I could be wrong one or the other either way I'm addicted to cloth and paper and simply gilded if y'all did not know so just toss these in here cut a little bit off the side so that it could fit in here because again they are wider than the pocket space between the rings and the edge of inserts um, so I toss those in there in case I want to use them and if I did write on one I'll just simply pull it out and either slip it in the portion of my purse where I keep my phone or just slide it right here in the pocket um, so when I get home I can check it and so so the first divider says calendar and it has a super cute girl on it again with the Eiffel Tower and a gorgeous pink bow at the top. I love bows. So I love that. On the back, I've placed an adhesive pocket from the Planner Society. It's got bows on it and inside I just have some of those... Um, what do you call them freebies or two dollar tuesday or tiny sticker sheets and so i have a couple of those in there that just have some icons that are small or that i can use um to go ahead and you know mark things in my planner when i'm kind of planning on the go this is the sheet of stickers that normally comes with the pm agenda it's got like a suitcase the louis vuitton icons airplane train um you know a drink a coffee cup candle so it's kind of like um on the go stickers and so i have those in there they're little round icons and then I also have these from Samantha Mae Sticks. Um, these are some little bow drops. They're just some cute pastel candy colors. I'll probably switch these out um, to my fall ones. But these are super cute just for quick on-the-go planning if you want to add something in the planner. Y'all know, or if you didn't know, if you ain't seen other videos, I am not a morning person. So I have the same dashboard in my GM agenda, and I love, love, love it. So I also ordered it in the pocket. I've got them both together. And so I put that in there before my actual calendar section. Again, I only keep six months in here at a time, just like my GM. So I have July through December. Love the dress on this July girl. Absolutely beautiful. And so July, I don't think I actually wrote in because that's when I kind of restarted using the pocket. Prior to that, I was using... Um, um, an A6 rings planner as my everything like there was no main planner and then an everyday carry there was literally just my everything and I thought it was perfect because it was perfect size it fit in the bag which it was it really really is but it's not as compact as this pocket and I, this I just love how much smaller compact this is so July didn't really put anything in there I did start doing some of the kind of weekly planning in there, just kind of jotting where I'm supposed to be at work for that particular position I was in and where I need to go and all that. So here's the August divider. Here is the landing page for August. I did decorate this one and this photo here is on Instagram. So if you don't follow me at just one SP, please do. I post my gorgeous pictures there as well as kind of let you know if a video is going to be live or upload or anything like that. And so this is how um, August turned out. I really, really love those colors. This cute little sticker here where she's holding a bunch of mail is like a happy mail sticker is from cookie sticker co she is absolutely gorgeous love 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 her so you definitely need to check out cookie sticker co shop if you haven't and this washi is from um simply gilded 
and then this is again is proportion into the week so what happens is with cloth and paper inserts I think there's two different styles there's one where the back of the month is plain and then there's one where you're getting the week on two pages either lined or unlined and then it's it starts immediately after the month and so when the month ends to keep up with you know not having so much space in the rings I do take the entire uh, month of weekly pages out but I keep the actual month in there so if I need to look back and reference something I can and so that's what this is so moving into September this is the dashboard for September or the divider excuse me and this is my landing page for September I recently decorated this this is not on Instagram I don't really post the landing pages just because I'm trying to keep the pictures minimal but um, I can if y'all love it let me know and so this is the landing page for September and then moving into September this pic was posted on Instagram so this is how September came out I absolutely love this washi that came the simply gilded subscription box it's absolutely cute so love how September came out moving on to in my week so this is my weekly after the pin I do post my before the pin on to Instagram but this is after the pin now this is my page marker this I made myself so this is a planner society bow and um what do you call it scalloped edge I think is what it's called I'm trying to get a better view but it's like white it's not a peach or a tan it's like white with a glitter sparkle in it and so I just stuck it in between a sheet of laminate laminated it cut it to size so that it's kind of tiny and then just um, hole punched it and then cut slits in the hole so that I could easily pull it up and move it and so this is what I use as my page marker super super cute and then I have not decorated the other week so this is what the cloth and paper week on two page inserts look like when I moved into pocket I wanted these inserts ASAP the lined vertical week on two pages was sold out so unfortunately I had to get the online for the rest of 2020 but as soon as she released the 2021 I went and picked up both I picked up the PM and I picked up the GM so this is what it looks like for the weeklies and then October these are the same actual dividers in my A5 or my GM agenda so if you haven't seen that video and you're interested um, make sure and check it out but these are the same dividers I ordered a set for both so this is October I haven't decorated October in the PM like I have in the GM, so I do still need to do that. And then, like I said, I only keep the month and I don't keep the rest of the weekly pages. I just keep one month at a time, the current month, so that the rings aren't so stressful. And I do cut slits in every single one of my pages. I don't do it in my dividers because I don't want them to tear up. I don't have a reason to move them. But I do do it in every one of the inserts so that it's super easy to pull out in addition to being able to write on the page. You know, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, the rings can get in the way. So do have all those pulled. So November, same thing landing page month on two pages nothing's planned December super super cute same thing landing page <clears throat> monthly page nothing's on there decorated yet and then <clears throat> what I did for 2021 is I went ahead and just put some lined um, pieces of paper which these came um, with the inserts from cloth and paper like at the end it's got like a running list of numbers and so what I did was I just dec decorated it I just labeled it January 2021 February 2021 and moving on for each of the months and I just did that for a couple of like I think the first six or seven months into the year just in case I need to go ahead and jot something down so that's how I do my kind of planning into the next year and then in um the next one and for my PM agenda the next divider is titled to do um, I don't really put like a true to-do list in here because again this is my everyday carry so this is just in the purse out the house if I need to do something and so in here I put just that out the house if I need to do something which is usually shopping so I put my shopping list in here so I have this cute sticker from cookie monster co and I have Walmart at the top this is my Walmart running list and you do a lot of Walmart shopping I'm a Walmart junkie so Walmart has a front and a back I have Dollar Tree I have um, Target with this cute little planner monkey code target sticker I have another cookie monster codes so bath and body works I have five below the cute little shopping cart this one's from um the tassel planner but her shop is no longer open so I'm sorry about that then I have Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's all on the same sheet because I'm usually getting the same thing from there whether it be stickers or washi tape or a hole puncher or something like that and she's gonna be at all three and I find it easier to just keep them together I used to do it separate but I did blend them so I have this cute straight out of Michael's monkey from um, the Planner Monkey Co. This cute Hobby Lobby sticker I want to say is from Coffee Monster Co. And then this one is from Cookie Sticker Co. It's like um, the planner girl riding her a man's back going into Joann's. And that's totally me all day. Let me let y'all see that a little closer. That's me all day. Sorry. Me all day on hubby's back. Although I can't really get him to go. I really love that sticker. 
Sometimes he goes, just not all the time. So then I have the beauty supply store, and then I have TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, Home Goods. Usually when I go to one of those stores, I'm either getting something for the house or sometimes something planner related. And so I merge those together as well because it's, you know, kind of the same store in my head. And then just CVS, Office Depot. Oops. And then on here I have birthdays, Christmas. So this is kind of where I'm starting to write, like, ideas of what I want to get people for their birthday or what I want to get people for Christmas. And so the next one says notes. And then in there, I just have notes pages um, where I just jot down different information. Um, if I take a phone call in the car and I need to jot something down, it would go right here in the notes section. If it's something I needed, I would, you know, move it to the front where the inbox is or slip it in there. Or if I just need to leave it in here, of course, I'll just leave it. But again, these pages are all slit so that they can be easily um, pulled up and taken out. And you can pop them back in at any time. I love that kind of last divider just says miscellaneous. This divider set from cloth and paper, you can, sorry. This divider set from Clever Planner. What happened to my light? What happened? That was weird. Sorry about that, y'all. Not sure what happened. This divider set from Clever Planner was already labeled calendar to do notes and miscellaneous. And since this is my on the go and I don't need it to say something specific, I can roll with whatever it said. That's what I did. And so the calendar is calendar to do is my shopping errands out of the house kind of agenda. Um, and then notes is where I jot down any note of finance information. So I have my passwords and I have my um, vertical bill due date list. I hope that makes sense. Basically, I don't like to write it out on the month every month. I like to have one running list. And on the running list, it just says, you know, the first mortgage, the second, what have you, the fifth, what have you. That's how I like to do mine. It's just a literally running list. And so, of course, that's private. I won't show that. But here's the bow that was poking out of the top. It's, again, it's Peony's Peppery. I have it down with some Simply Gilded Washi because I notice if you washi down your bows, it keeps them in place a little bit better. Um, this is a kind of white and pink checkered print washi. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And then I don't have anything in the back pocket here. And that is it, ladies. That is the flip through of my PM agenda. And so that's what I use in my purse every day. It stays in there. That's its home and it works very good for me with my planning system. Like I said, I only put, you know, birthdays or anniversaries on like my monthly and then on my weekly pages. I love to put payday um because who doesn't want to know when they're getting their coins and then I put like um errands appointments out the house events that I'm aware of um and stuff like that on my actual weekly so hopefully you got some um information you can use some pointers some ideas of what you can do in your planner or what you love or hopefully you just enjoyed watching the flip through I love watching planner flip throughs plan with me's and what's in my bag videos all day long so that's what I plan on continuing to upload on my channel so if you're new I hope you enjoyed the video um if you're an oldie but goodie thanks for watching another video I do upload weekly on Wednesdays. I'm also on Instagram at just one SB and I do usually kind of intro and say that a video is going to be live on that uh, Instagram page. So please consider joining the SB fam and rock with me and looking at all things planner related, bag related, and of course, Louis Vuitton related because I'm addicted. Don't judge me. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in another one. Bye.